Okay, number six of worksheet four, we're trying to figure out the force from FM and FJ. Okay, the first thing I have to do here is I have to make a slight correction. And that is, hopefully it doesn't raise everything. Uh, oh, what are you doing here? Oops, too much. Too much. And I'm not going to be able to read. Well, maybe I can make a smaller one. No, it's not going to let me do it. Okay, the angle here for FJ needs to be. Um, It's be 4.7 degrees. Okay, so for this, let me go ahead and draw a free body diagram. There's going to be some forces that act on this. There's going to be a weight force from the whole arm here. There's going to be FM kind of acting this direction. And there's going to be an FJ kind of acting this direction. Okay. So this is FM. This is FJ. And this is weight. And so I can say that the weight plus FJ in the y direction is equal to FM in the y direction. Um, and I know the weight, so the weight is 30 newtons plus Fj, and it would be sine of 4.7 equals Fm sine of 15. But I still have two unknowns, so I'm not really able to solve it that way. Um, I could even write a x direction equation, and that would be fjx would be equal to fmx fj, and the x direction would be cosine of 4.7 degrees, and that's going to be equal to fm times the cosine of 15 degrees. So again, two unknowns, not really helpful. Okay, so I'm going to um, have to use torque here, and I'm going to pick a pivot point down here. And so that eliminates torque from FJ, and so I'm going to have the torque from M is going to be equal to the torque from the weight. Torque for M is going to be FM times the distance, which is 0 0.18 meters, times the sine of 15 degrees, equals the weight, which is 30 newtons, times the distance, which is 0 0.26 meters, times the sine of 90, which is just 1. So now we can solve this for FM. FM will end up being about 167 newtons. Okay, once I have FM, I could just kind of plug it in over here to figure out what FJ is. So FJ times the cosine of 4.7 degrees is equal to, where was I at? oh, is equal to 167 newtons times the um, cosine of 15 degrees and so for this we get FJ is equal to 161 newtons approximately